Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Neuro3, the series where we discuss neuroscientific papers in 3 minutes. In this video we will be discussing the study conducted by Liu and colleagues from 2022. In this paper a novel method for designing a mind-controlled wheelchair was introduced, which allows individuals to control a wheelchair simply by using their brains. But how does it work? Well, let's find out and start the clock. The brain-controlled wheelchair that the authors of the study developed works by decoding specific neural signals collected using EEG. These EEG signals are then transmitted to a computerized device that in turn controls the movement of the wheelchair. Now moving the wheelchair could be done either automatically or semi-automatically. In the automatic mode, the users of the wheelchair select the target location on the user interface, allowing the wheelchair to move to that location. In the semi-automatic mode, the users have to manually indicate in which direction they want to go, for example left, right or forward. Now, brain control wheelchairs already existed before this paper came out, however they are semi-automatic and quite slow. They require users to continuously send commands until the target destination is reached. On the other hand, automatic brain control wheelchairs are significantly faster, but are typically harder to use in new and unfamiliar environments. To develop automatic brain control wheelchairs, previous research studies calibrated the position of all possible target locations in relation to the user in advance. The user would then select a target in the user interface and the wheelchair would automatically reach the target along the calibrated path. This of course takes a lot of time and requires the researchers to be familiar with the user's environment and possible target locations. To overcome this limitation, the authors of the present study used augmented reality and artificial intelligence. Rather than a traditional user interface, in this study a translucent head-mounted display was used, which allows the user to see the user interface while still being able to see and navigate through their environment. With this display, when focusing on a specific point, an event related potential in the EEG is evoked, specifically the P300, which is an attention related component. So directing attention to a specific point will evoke this P300 response, which the system uses to know where it should go. In addition, by using artificial intelligence, the system was able to detect objects that could be avoided or approached. Also, the users could choose to manually input the desired target location by using the semi-automatic mode. In this experiment, the authors recruited 20 non-disabled participants and had them navigate through an indoors environment using this system. Participants were asked to use the automatic and semi-automatic modes. The results of the study showed that the accuracy of the brain-controlled wheelchair to move towards a correct location was roughly the same for the automatic and for the semi-automatic modes and the accuracy was 83.6 and 84.1% respectively. However, the automatic mode was significantly faster, with target locations being reached on average after 42.2 seconds compared to 93.4 seconds in the semi-automatic mode. Stop the clock. In conclusion, the authors found that their novel method of combining augmented reality and artificial intelligence was very effective, accurate, easy to use in non-familiar environments and very fast. That's it, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, we hope to see you the next time.